Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Hope you are doing well. Today, a special video where I surprise my dad with a new aviary. His aviary is now more than 10 years old and it really needs an update. So it's time to start building. I just have one long weekend, so hopefully we will get it done. First of all, thank you guys so much for smashing that like button on my previous video. It's my best liked video in the first two weeks. Hopefully we can match that number for this video. You know what to do. First, we need a lot of wooden beams for the frame. But having a circular saw speeds things up a bit. I can still remember my own aviary build. Make sure to use wood which is impregnated so it can withstand the weather. Otherwise it will rot in no time. The aviary will consist of three parts. The actual aviary, a small shed to put all the equipment in and the double door system of the aviary to prevent the birds from flying away when he comes in. I started with the bottom layout and connected the vertical beams. The roof will be at a height of 2 meters and at a slight angle to allow rainwater to slide off. Make sure it's high enough for you to easily stand in it. Nothing worse than having to bend down all the time. You can use extra support beams in the middle but I choose not to do so because it will construct the view into your aviary. The beams are a little less than 1 meter apart, so I don't have to cut the mesh, which is exactly 1 meter wide. I also planned this aviary in a way that the pre-cut beams or planks from the store were already at the right length. This saved me so much time, therefore the planks at the back could easily be installed with some help. By the way, if you want to have these cool shirts we are wearing during this build or any other cool design, check out my store below this video and in the description. This will help the channel and all earnings will be used to making more of these videos. Day 1 is done and we had to continue the next day. We are getting there but we still have to push through to get it done. Time for the mesh. In the last couple of years I learned that the best way to do this is to clamp the mesh in place at the top and use a small beam with screws to pull the mesh tight. Staple it from one corner to the other while a helping hand and the clamps keep it tight. This already looks a lot like an aviary. Time for the roof. Unfortunately, my camera died, so I didn't film much of it. Day 3 of the build was used to finish the roof. 
The roof consists of small planks with eventually rubber underlayments on top to make it completely waterproof. The last thing to do is to install the doors. When the doors are in, it's time for some decorations and of course some birds. I did some quick decorations which we will do some more at a later stage because it was getting late and my weekend was over. Time to put my dead bird back into their new home. A couple of button quails, two canaries, one starfinch and four long-tailed finches. These long-tailed finches are already more than 10 years old and one of the first birds in his old aviary. Now that my dad has a bigger aviary, I think it's also time for some new birds. What do you think? Comment below which birds we should give him. The birds really love their new place and my dad is super happy. He's sitting in front of the aviary every day enjoying his birds. That's it for now. Smash that like button and if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos, press that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified if I upload again. It's free and it also helps this channel out a lot. For now, remember to stay happy and always love your birds. Bye bye!